I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Chumash Indian cave art. So the first thing I'm going to do is come right here in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left, and we're just going to try and do a slightly diagonal line up and connect. Right underneath, we're going to draw a little straight line, round corners, going down, around, and up, connect. Now we come right here on the upper right corner and we're going to draw a curved line. Then we're going to come on the bottom and bring it up, curved line, and then we're going to go one, curved line in, out, two, three, up, curve line out, one more curved line, bring it all the way down, and connect. Now on the left side we're going to do a little curved line, then we're going to bring slightly curved line up, curve line out, curve line in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and bring it down and connect. Now it doesn't really matter how your upper parts look as long as we have it kind of in the same configuration. Now I come down to the lower right, draw that little curved line, bring it up, do your curved line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, bring it down, up, connect, and let's do one more on the bottom left, little curve line, curve line out, little curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and bring it down, okay? Now we come down here on this section on the left and I'm going to start, let's say, right about there and put a dot and then I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. Right where I stop, straight line out, curve line over, straight line down. We're going to work our way around in a circle and again it doesn't really matter how they Look, they don't have to be symmetrical because this is all hand drawn. Straight line, straight line, curve line, straight line out, curve line, straight line in, straight line down, curve line, straight line up, straight line out, curve line, straight line in. One more if you can fit it. Straight line out, curve line, straight line in connect. Now I'm going to add one more line every once in a while. Straight line up, curve line over, leave it. Now on this side I'm going to do curve line, straight line down. The next one I'll do straight line, curve line, and we're kind of outlining it but not really. Let's do curve line, straight line up, Curve line, straight line up. Curve line, straight line, straight line, curve line up. And let's just leave it like that. These are, these are all hand drawn on rock. So that's part of the reason why it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. But you get the general idea. Now down here at the very bottom lower right, we're going to start off with a circle. Inside the circle, baby circle. Then we go straight line, straight line on top, straight line, straight line on the bottom. 
straight line, straight line to the right, straight line, straight line to the left. Now we're going to draw another circle around that circle, connect, and on top of this we're going to draw baby triangles all the way around. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now the interesting thing about the Chumash rock art is a lot of it was found in caves. So what I want you to do is anywhere at the top put a dot and we're just going to draw a line that kind of frames all of what you just drew. Keep going all the way down, up, around, and connect. Because we're going to draw this as though it's the interior of the cave. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what's interesting about the Chumash Indians is that they would use whatever rocks they had for their color. So some of the colors they had were yellow, so I'm going to do this star-like pattern right here. Yellow. And they outlined it with white, so the part, the section that we did kind of like this and like this, I'm going to leave that alone. You'll understand when we do the background. Then I'm using orange red for this figure. Now you can tell me what it is. I don't know. Is it a lizard? Is it a human? I don't know. But I'm going to color it red orange because you could also find red orange color in the rock ores they would use to paint with. Okay, so we'll do this. And this was all the shaman, the medicine man, who would do all of this. Then I come down to my lower right, and I'm going to do this section red. Whoops, this section. Sorry, no mistakes in art. That should be white. And the little baby triangles should all be red. All the way around. And they found these drawings inside the caves, and because they were away from direct sunlight, the colors were just magnificently bright. Now, because it was in a cave, I take a brown and I totally go around with brown with my color. It's going to take you some time, so just do it nicely. And then what I would do, if I were you, and I'm not, but if I were you, once I got this all colored in pretty nicely, I would get my scissors and I would cut this out so it looks like a piece of cave or rock that you found. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Chumash Indian cave art or rock art, and uh, these are now considered national treasures. Okay. Bye-bye.